back on the uh, TBS show in 2014, we had the cast of Orange is the New Black on, mm-hmm. and uh, Laverne Cox was one of the cast members on the show. And she had mentioned um, her b- twin brother and that he had a website. He was a musician, she said, and she wanted to promote his website. And, and we didn't know about it in advance. And um, normally if a celebrity asked to plug one of their websites, there's a lot more leniency involved than if it's just an unknown website. You know, we want to make sure that we, you know, treat the talent well. And usually they're harmless sites. Normally I'll check out a website in advance. In that case, it was ad libs. I did not have the opportunity. So after the uh, taping, I immediately got an email from the standards department saying that we needed to censor the website. And again, in the interest of talent relations, she was only promoting her brother's musical website, I kind of went back to them and pushed back a little bit and said that we'd like to keep it, uh, you know, let's uh, cut some slack. And I got an email back, uh, which I've located, and I'd like (laughs) to read it to you. Sure. After I said that we'd like to keep this URL, the mention on air of uh, Laverne Cox's brother's website, I was told there is a pornographic image on the front page of the site of three men being anally penetrated by objects. (laughs) <laughs> Those are musical instruments. And that was from Standards and Practices. This is from Standards and Practices. Immediately, uh, to verify the accuracy of the email, I went to the website. And in fact, well, of course, that was certainly the case. <laughs> I can't say I disagree with the logic of this policy as much as we disliked it at times. 